What's going on, Third Nation XP001 here. Hey, I want to give you a brief update on the upcoming Executive Protection Tactics class in Nashville, Tennessee, thanks to Rural Range, uh, September 28th to the 29th. Um, <clears throat> this is not like the Executive Protection Pistol class that I've done before. This is strictly tactics-based. We're going to touch on some of those things, but um, I've been working on this curriculum for about a year, and I'm pretty excited about it because no one else really out there is offering this type of tactics or techniques or class to the private sector. Um, so I just want to give you a lowdown on what it's based off of. So we're, we are going to talk about the difference between defensive and advanced marksmanship and what is applied. But when we look at training, it's based off of kind of like an individual approach where it's shooting, driving, combatives. It's all about you building that baseline. So once you have that baseline, you can react at a subconscious level so you can concentrate on the task at hand, which is tactics, use of deadly force, communication, etc. So with this class, we're gonna ramp up very quickly to get into that team tactics realm. So with that being said, is now we're gonna start moving and work moving and working in two-man team tactics, verbal, nonverbal, um, and then we're gonna start throwing in the principal, the client, or the package. So now you're going, hey, like I've mastered bounding and moving and flowing with the client or with my teammate. Now I, I'm adding in a third person that's a non-combatant um, that you're protecting. It could be a loved one, your principal, your client, or your package, like I said. So it's gonna mix things up. So we're gonna work that from a vehicle standpoint, hardcover standpoint, potentially structure standpoint on how to get that done. But the most important thing that no one fucking talks about is if it's direct threat or active threat. So all these guys will go like, they'll see a dude's doing demos from a vehicle and they're like, wow, that's, uh, those, those guys were being killed in an ambush. Well, hey man, we don't know the, the scenario. How is it set up? And that's the, the major point that I'm gonna talk about is, hey, when we're dealing with an active threat, when it's something's happening in the vicinity and we're forced to move our client, and we are guns out, moving, bounding, and covering to get them to the vehicle, or to get them out, or get them to another safe, uh, another heart, uh, a designated safe room. That's one. But then there's, there's another way to deal with it if it's direct threat. So you are actively engaging the threat, and you are forced to move your client. So it's either from a vehicle, you know, vehicle ambush. So guys talk about, you know, team tactics. I'm like, hey, I'm shooting from the vehicle. I'm getting out. You got a client in the back that needs to be directed and communicated and covered to get him to the hard point where you guys are going. And once you get to that hard point, you're gonna have to kick open that door. And now you're, you're in structural current or CQB with two guys with your, with your client, with your principal. So, you know, there's a lot of things that are not being taught out there and I, I'm, we're, we're gonna finally put everything together in this class. This class is limited to 16 people. Um, and I'm pretty excited. There's some of the drills um, I'm gonna try to post up, but I don't wanna blow them, but it's um, when we talk about the communication piece and when we talk about attack on principle, where it's coming from, who's dealing with it. If someone you know, calls and, and directs you know, gun front and everyone turns to that and tries to deal with it and leaves the AIC um, or the, the, you know, the AIC to move the client and everyone's focused on the threat and no one's leading him, to the safe room, the vehicle, to a hard point, and now that was just a diversionary, and they lean or ambush your client. So I talk about those communication techniques on how to deal with it. It's very complex, very complicated, but uh, it's gonna get done. We're gonna, it's gonna be a fast pace. That's why this class is only limited to 16 people, um, and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm looking to get this class in, in other locations, but um, also too, I'm working on some custom training swag that will only be available um, for those that attend ZERT, attend ZERT training uh, for 2019-2020. So enough rambling on. Look forward to having you guys out. Click on the link below. And look forward to seeing you guys out in Nashville, Tennessee. And just a rumor, um, might be out there uh, hunting down another uh, barrel for uh, the intergalactic kegger for 2020 while we're out there in, in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I might jump over to um, the Jack Daniels factory in Lynchburg. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Thank you for the support. Don't forget about your hats. Don't forget about the awesome Dying Breed Zert shirt. 
and we'll, we'll talk to you guys soon. Coming out of the kitchen, XP001 out.